Last episode, new signing Samuel Piat helped lead this team towards the top of the table, but there's trouble in paradise with some unhappy players in the squad. Hey, what's going on guys? Respect the Jeff back here with Paris FC. Top of the table, five games in, 13 points. Not too bad at all, but the new event right off the bat for the episode, Usman Kanta is unhappy with the role he's playing in this team. He's on a crucial contract. He has yet to play too much with our center backs nailed down, and he's publicly announced he wants to leave the club. Now, this is okay for the time being. I don't think it'll hurt us too much, but it's something to keep an eye out for. He's pretty much our backup center back at the moment. Outside of that, we don't have a lot of depth. Soleil and Bamba are both young center backs, but they have those spots locked down. Those are our two starters. Conte is and was our backup. Uh, at 69 overall, he's still solid for this division, uh, and it gives us something to think about here. I don't necessarily know that we need to drop him to the bench or anything like that. Uh, this isn't the kind of drama we saw at PSG. All he's saying is he wants more playing time. Honestly, fair to him. He's a solid player. He's not getting many minutes. Some of the other options we could have though, we see Ange Chiesa, the youth center back, coming out of our actual uh, Paris FC Real Life Academy, but uh, I don't know if he's necessarily ready for minutes yet, so I think we're going to leave things like they are for the time being. But with that said, it's right to the action, and without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, here we go, the one to watch this time out. You already know it, Gaetan Laura, our striker has been on fire this season, leads the league in goals, and has shown no signs of stopping so far. Uh, I think a huge credit to the rest of the team for setting him up. Laura is super fast and strong, he's a really solid striker, don't get me wrong, but I think the kind of chances we're creating for him this season is what's making the difference. Uh, obviously he's good enough to finish them off, but uh, players like Wabi Kazri are putting chances on a plate. Uh, speak of that, there we go, Elias Husni sets up Laura, saved by the goalkeeper, but that's exactly what I'm talking about here. We have great creative talent in the final third who can play balls to our striker, who's definitely uh, got the presence to, <laughs> to get there and finish some of those off. Uh, on the bright side, we are also the best defensive team in the league so far. You can see us throwing bodies on the line and probably fortunate there to get away with that one. It's off the crossbar, but the warning signs uh, have been sounded so far. This game has been end to end. Gaitan Laura now spreads it out wide to our new signing. Matrita flicks it through. Kasri, no! Probably should have been a chance on goal, but he was too unselfish, tried to cushion it down, and we are definitely guilty of overcomplicating things at times. Another shot and another miss on our goal. As we come up towards halftime here, plenty of opportunities have been had so far. The latest is Ilias Husni in behind, cracks a shot at goal, saved again, and the game remains scoreless. Still not even halftime yet, and Samuel Piet does a fantastic job of winning the ball back. He's been a real rough and tumble center mid for us so far this season since signing. A uh, really good addition to the squad here. But some mistakes in the box set up a chance. Nothing the goalie can do about that. Point blank shot. Is he offsides? No, apparently not. And unfortunately for us, we find ourselves a goal down. In a game that we have struggled to score in so far, this won't be an easy climb back for us. Been probably our most difficult game of the season so far. Julian Lopez coming on as a substitute with 20 minutes left. Looking to make something happen here. Soleil trying to get on the end of it. Oh man, that should have been it. The center back gets a towering header down, but it is wide of the net. Here we go again. Lopez lays it up. Warren Caddy, the other substitute, sends it off the uprights. And again, unable to find the back of the net. That's a disappointing one for Paris FC. Our first loss of the season comes at a very inopportune time. We had just taken top of the league, and that loss likely, I guess depending results elsewhere, sends us down a little bit on the table. But we keep our heads up, and on we go. Well, that one's a shame, but we move towards deadline day, and with a lot of last minute deals already having worked out in our favor, our business is done. So we fly through that. We have a really deep roster this season. No need to bring in more additions. Transfer window closed. Unfortunately, our next game is against SC Bastia, but 
I lost the recording footage. On the bright side, it was a 2-1 win. Gaetan Laura scored. I forget who the other was, to be perfectly honest with you. But it was a solid performance. We did concede right at the end. But we'll just keep rolling on with the season. We bounced back. Three more points. And we're going to rotate just a little bit here. Ismail Garbi is going to start on the wing for this one. We haven't seen much from him since signing. I'm going to give him every opportunity still. Um, Mustafa Nam finally back from injury and back in contention. He has zero sharpness, so he won't be starting, but uh, he'll be one who's slowly back uh, fighting for a starting spot again. So with that said, back to the action. All right, here we go, looking to make it another consecutive win for us here. Our momentum definitely thrown off a little bit by that loss earlier, uh, but I don't know if we've completely shaken it off. Huge mistake early in the game there from the goalkeeper, Luka Zidane. What are you doing? Caught completely out. I think he thought the ball was going to run out of play. I guess fair play to the attacker for staying on it, but that is just too easy to concede. And it puts us a goal down. Wabi Khazri now, edge of the box, looking to crack a shot, and he does. A fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Really well done to keep that chance out. 15 minutes in, it's been all action so far. Ilias Husni heads it down. Laura, no! How has he missed? Directly in front of goal. Couldn't keep the header on target. That's as good as it's happened. Definitely should have been a goal there. And unfortunately for us, we find ourselves still a goal down. Our goalkeeper not making life easy for us. He's been hot and cold this season. Diakite does his best to find a goal from distance, but still nothing here in the second half. 60 minutes into the match, Samuel Piet doing the good defensive work, getting back there. Axel Bamba eventually boots that one away, but only as far as the attacker here. Piet eventually gets it away. Thank God for him. He's definitely preventing some good chances in the defensive uh, third for us. Husni now getting the ball out from feet. Can we find a counter attack? It's been pretty desperate play from us so far, but there we go. Gaitan Laura clean through on goal, and Shirley takes a kind of a rough touch. <laughs> the goalkeeper makes the save. That's disappointing again from the striker. Couldn't find the back of the net on that occasion. That was a surefire, clear cut chance, one on one with the keeper, and he couldn't get the job done. 15 minutes left, and we're still on the back foot here. Disappointing from Paris FC, and eventually. It's seen now a second defeat, our second defeat of this season. And after such a hot start in those first couple of games, this is disappointing for sure. Uh, but I think we have the personnel to bounce back. Let's not get too down about it just yet. And on we go. All right, well, it's not crisis yet. We're still in second place. Things are still under control, but something's got to change. We can't keep losing games here. So we go into our next match. Uh, eight games into the season here. Let's take a quick look. I mean, to be completely honest, we've been great. We have the highest goal differential. Uh, most goals scored, least goals conceded. On paper, we're probably the best team in the league, despite those two losses. Uh, so, like I said, let's keep our heads up. We'll keep moving on. I don't think it's a big problem yet. Just a little unlucky on those two occasions. Uh, what I didn't say earlier, too, is Zidane also made a huge mistake in the gameplay footage that we lost to concede the one goal. So, I'm gonna bench him. He had some problems last episode. He had some problems in preseason. Obviously, that huge mistake in the last game. I'm not saying it's permanent. I know the thumbnail is probably <laughs> way too clickbaity. I'm not gonna sell him or anything, but he is on the bench for this one. Filipovic starts, and with that said, let's get out there and get a win. All right, here we go. Looking for a victory after two disappointing losses. This episode's not been amazing so far, but I think we have amazing talent in the team, and I think uh, as long as we can perform to the level we know we're capable of, it'll be a comfortable season for us. Gaetan Laura slipped through early from Piet. Saved again. Laura is struggling this time out after scoring tons of goals. And I guess he's just got to work a little bit on his overall play. Scrap in the box there. Comes out to nothing. Under 15 minutes played, but plenty of action again. These games have been wild so far. Here we go again. Wabi Khazri waiting for the high line. Catches him out. Laura, surely this will be a goal. Another chance one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Sends it off the crossbar. Again, Gaitan Laura fails to score on a clear-cut opportunity, and he's definitely struggling for form at the moment. The opposition, quick play here, edge of the box. My God, what a strike. We find ourselves down once again, completely against the run of play. We've had three or four amazing chances, couldn't finish any of them, and it comes back to bite us. I don't know what the defense was doing there. Fair play off the strike. That is an absolute worldy into the top corner, but... 
again we find ourselves down a goal and struggling off the back of those two losses uh, I don't feel super confident at this point in time that we'll bounce back all the time but there you have it Gaetan Laura steps up and responds not been smooth sailing for him so far this episode but he does still get goals. The qu amount of chances really that he's getting, he's going to start finishing some. If he can get his confidence back, we know what he can do. It's a simple header in the end, but it's lovely play, lovely link-up play once again between Kazri and Gaitan Laura. Here we have the young Ilias Husni coming forwards and again slipping our striker over the top who returns the favor. Kazri in the box, finishes before halftime. And this game looks to be different from the others in the sense that we're actually able to get ourselves back in front once again uh, after conceding there. It's great stuff. It's great tenacity to keep the chances coming. And this team doesn't look like slowing down. Laura, edge of the area, feeling confident. I guess here, shot from distance. Saved by the goalkeeper. Not too far off at all. Diakite keeping things flowing. Mitrita cuts it back to the far post. It's off the uprights again. So many chances coming in here. We want to put this game to bed. Laura flicks it through. Wabi Kazri waiting for the run ahead of him, and he patiently picks out Diakite. It's back for Kazri. Piet finds his first goal of the season. <laughs> here we go. 3 1. This team is up and running. Samuel Piet, new signing, gets his goal finally. He's not the most offensive threat we have, but I guess he's got it in his locker, and he has been a great addition so far. Ilias Husni now doing it all alone, and another great save required from the goalkeeper to keep that one out. Three minutes left, and it's Ilias Husni to put in the ball to the back post. Axel Bamba chests it in, comfy as you like, and the center back gets a goal uh, to his name. He's a fantastic talent, Axel Bamba, an academy player, one of Paris FC's own, and one of the most promising uh, young players in this squad. He's been leading the back line. He's kept talents like Kante uh, so far out of the squad that he's complaining about his lack of playing time. So uh, on the flip side of some of the complaints we're getting uh, are success stories like Axel Bamba who are making waves this season. And we continue on here. Despite not hanging onto a clean sheet this time, we do score four goals. And eventually, the ball trickles out of play. There you have it. It's an enormous victory. It's a big response from the team after struggling this season to come back from being a goal down. And not only to come back, but absolutely dominate the game like that. Four to one. What a result. And that's more like it. All right, well, we're back up into second place. St. Etienne's having a fantastic season. Uh, despite us having stolen Kazri from them, uh, are still a really, really solid team. And hopefully for us, we can prove to him that it was worth the switch. Uh, taking a look at some of the pro uh, progress that's been going on with our youth, Bolosian and Banama, our two 17-year-old uh, ideally wonder kids in the making, have both gone out on loan. Uh, rather, will go out in January uh, through the remainder of the season. They just don't have a place in the squad right now, but I definitely see them as future signings. You can see here, we've cleaned shop. A ton of players have exited. Obviously, we have the new signings that have come in at the beginning of this season. But this squad has been chopped and changed a lot. I think we're much better already than last season, but it is worth uh, talking about the fact that there's so many new players, and I think we definitely haven't even found our best yet. I think by the end of the season, once we're fully firing and the team chemistry is built, we are going to be an absolute force. Now taking a look at this, Gaitan Laura has scored seven goals, six assists already. Diakite still not far behind him with five. Kazri's up to five and seven assists. And even Husni at this point scored three, assisted one. We have so many top, top attacking talents in the side, not even to mention our defense, which again has been the best in the league so far this season. Uh, Axel Bamba even getting on the score sheet with a goal in that last game. So we're seeing the best out of everybody at this point. It's a matter of consistency. Uh, some of the players who I think can step up, Ismail Garbi obviously hasn't made too much of an impact since signing. We've got some of the players that are coming back from injury, Manduki, uh, even taking a look further down the list, Mustafa Nam also just coming back uh, from injury. He was a key player last season, but that big injury hit him hard. Uh, not very match fit at this point. His morale is low. He's lost an overall point. He's definitely not as sharp as uh, we're used to. And honestly, with the current midfield performing so well, it'll be interesting to see where he fits into our plans. But it's a good problem to have with that kind of squad depth. And if you guys want to help me manage the team and make some decisions, feel free to join the Discord chat. Link in the description. It's free. You can hop in and become part of the behind-the-scenes conversations like so many others have. Huge shout out to everybody involved in this. 
It's genuinely uh, a series that would not be possible without the support and input from everybody involved. So many of these storylines are directly out of conversations I've had in the chat with you all. So a huge, huge thanks once again. And in the meantime, if you guys have been enjoying this series, please at least just consider subscribing. Helps the channel out a ton. And I'll be back soon with next episode. But until then, I'm Respected Jeff, and I'll see you next time.